In this problem, we are going to solve a clipper circuit for the given input signal. So what the question is saying here, determine the V0 output which has to be measured as given, given here. So this is positive polarity and this is negative polarity. And then we one more thing is given the diode is a silicon diode. Here in this case, it is not an ideal diode. In previous cases, we have considered that as a silicon diode, but here we will be considering that as a ideal diode. Sorry, previous case we have considered ideal diode, I here we will be considering as a silicon diode. So, I will explain what, what has to be done if we consider a silicon diode. Now, let us solve this. So, first if I consider, let me just write the time period. So, this is 0, this is T by 2 and this is T. So, what will happen for 0 to T by 2? Okay, so in 0 to t by 2 what will happen? This is a positive cycle. So here obviously we are going, going to get the positive. Here we are going to get the negative. Now in this case, what will happen? The diode will be behaving as a open circuit. Why? Because for the diode this is positive and this is negative. And clearly we can see that the diode is reverse bias here. In this case it will be open circuited. So what will happen to the circuit now? So the circuit will be represented as a diode open circuited so this is my rl and input is applied here vi and here i am going to get the output voltage as v0 in this case the diode is represented as a open circuit so what will happen to v0 so this v0 value will be equals to 0 throughout this period throughout the whenever the it is positive uh, connect positive part is there it will be value will be 0 now it is important to understand what will happen in the second part or negative part or t by 2 to t period okay so we need to understand that now in the t by 2 to t period so let me just draw the circuit again so here the diode is connected and the load resistance is here okay and this is your load resistance we are going to measure the voltage like this so voltage measurement polarity will not change okay so this is the diode now the second half what will happen previously the positive part was here and negative part in the below in this case negative terminal will be here positive terminal will be here and we are applying a voltage input of vi in this case we can see clearly that the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the diode because the current will be flowing like this and negative terminal is connected to negative terminal diode so diode is forward bias here okay so diode is forward bias and it is going to conduct so that is fine now the problem here is it is given here silicon diode that means in for silicon diode the barrier potential or the potential barrier so whatever you want you can call so that value is 0 0.7 volt okay so now once the diode is forward bias then we have to represent the diode as a potential barrier so let me just do that how to represent then I will be coming back to the problem. So if a diode is like this and the diode is forward bias then it will be represented like a potential of 0 0.7 volt. Okay. Now what does the 0 0.7 volt potential barrier means? Means that the diode even if it is forward biased so till the input voltage is not greater than if the input volt if 0 0.7 volt is greater than the vi means the input voltage is less than 0 0.7 volt the diode will not allow the flow of current diode will not allow current in this case but there will be a 0 0.7 volt both potential now what will happen if 0 0.7 volt and it is less than the input voltage what will happen then diode will conduct but the diode will be represented in the circuit as a potential barrier V source. So what I can do here? So instead of diode, sorry, so instead of having a diode, so we'll be representing the diode as a potential of or a battery connected of how much voltage the value will be. 0 0.7 volt okay so this is happening all the cases where the diode is forward bias now we have to find what is the value of v0 so how to find 
so as i have shown here current is going to flow from positive to negative in this direction and here it will be positive here it will be negative according to the current to conduction convection and what is the v0 value so whatever voltage drop will be getting at across the rl that is your v0 so if i write the equation here so what i can write so now we will be writing so minus to plus so plus vi okay then here minus v0 okay minus v0 and here it will be your uh, uh, plus sorry it will be minus 0 0.7 volt plus to minus so minus 0 0.7 volt equals to 0 that implies i will get v0 that is equals to plus vi plus vi if i take the maximum voltage so maximum voltage is how much 20 volt here it is given see the maximum voltage level is 20 volt so the vi value is 20 minus 0 0.7 okay so that is equals to 19.3 now here one doubt comes for the students generally so if i take the negative cycle then i should be considering minus 20 but here i am writing plus 20 that is why because we are considering that the current direction is already changed that is why we are taking positive volt positive 20 but while analyzing if you take here positive and here negative then only the voltage will be negative so just go through this so you take the maximum voltage so that is the thing because we have alternated the current direction now no need to represent the voltage as a negative voltage so v0 we are getting here 19.3 so this 19.3 we are getting according to this polarity okay but actually i am measuring my v0 so in the opposite polarity plus v uh, plus to minus so for that what change i need to meet so why i am making it different first you understand this loop then you understand the output that's why i am making it two different things so in that case what will happen the v0 or the voltage drop across the rl we are representing so that will be represented as a plus v0 okay why because actual potential of v0 we are taking as plus here and minus here according to the kvl convention the potential drop here will be plus here and minus here okay so if i take plus b here then what will happen this will be minus b that implies v will be equals to minus 19.2 3 volt okay this is the maximum voltage if i consider the vm that means this point okay this will get 19.3 volt now let us understand how to draw the output signal so for that let me draw the input signal again and from there we will be drawing the output signal so this is the input signal where this value is minus 20 volt and this value is your 20 volt so i am dividing i have to divide it into two parts so one is 0 to t by 2 so this part is 0 to t by 2 i will extend this line so in the first half in this half what is happening we got our v0 value is 0 irrespective of any amplitude so we are going to get a signal for this period whose value is 0 okay now see here in the second half let me consider that you see this 0 0.7 node plus is here minus is here so obviously this will be in i have to draw a potential line which is like here and this value is minus 0 0.7 volt why i am doing in the below side you need to understand that so see here so this 0 0.7 volt is in the same direction as the negative power cycle voltage i am analyzing so that will be in the below side okay so what is happening so till this point so which point till this point so i am not getting any kind of output because as i said the diode will not conduct for this part of the signal and that means for this part of the signal also the output value is zero similarly if i extend the line here so up to again 0 0.7 volt and then the zero line is here so the signal is going like this zero line is here here also will be getting the output as zero so we'll be starting to get the output voltage at which point so from here we'll be getting the output voltage till this point 
and this amplitude will be how much minus 19.3 that is what we got okay so here you need to remember that the negative cycle it is not for all the full length of the negative cycle it is till the length where the negative voltage is less than 0.7 volt if it is less than 0.7 volt then no current will flow i will not allow any current to flow because for the current flowing in the forward bias the diode has to be forward bias first case and then the current volt potential applied should be greater than the potential barrier there so that is how the output will look like here okay so and uh, this is which type of clipper we can say this is a positive clipper why because it is clipping out the positive part of the input so this is how a positive clipper with a sinusoidal wave you can consider okay now people might get that minus 19.3 so how it is coming here and why it is zero level so minus 19.3 will be the peak value because the equation i cannot write for all the levels of the voltage so i'm writing the equation for the peak value and it will follow if i take any point here after 0.7 if i take any point so we'll be getting that value okay now this level is your minus 0.7 so we are going to get the voltage after minus 0.7 not before that from 0 to 19.3 volt we are going to get so this is from this video in the next video we'll be discussing another problem